capturing carbon dioxide emissions before they reach our atmosphere. There's a company helping the state of Colorado test a new method of carbon capture at two ethanol plants. Our Corey Reppenhagen explains how it works. When you fill up at the pump, in most cases, there's about 10% ethanol mixed into the gasoline. Ethanol helps the fuel burn more completely and reduces emissions. But when it's manufactured, it releases carbon dioxide or CO2 into the atmosphere. CO2 is one of the main greenhouse gases responsible for climate change. Two ethanol plants in Colorado, one in Sterling and another in Yuma, release about 350,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide every year. That's a lot. Um, the, that's the equivalent of emissions from about 75,000 vehicles. Brent Lewis says his Arvada-based company, Carbon America, is teaming up with those two ethanol plants to stop the CO2 waste from reaching the atmosphere. It's a process called carbon capture and sequestration. Basically, a lid is placed over the smokestacks. The CO2 condensates into a liquid, travels down a pipeline, and gets injected into a nearby saline aquifer about a mile underground, where it's permanently stored. Lewis says the carbon is only detrimental in the atmosphere, not in the ground. So they're basically putting the carbon back where it came from. He says it will significantly reduce CO2 in the atmosphere, but it'll be nowhere near the scale needed to have a climate impact just yet. He says this operation is just a launch pad. But what these projects allow us to do is really, really learn um, and, and get the system down, make sure we understand all of the elements associated with getting this perfectly permitted uh, with the EPA and our state regulatory authorities as well. Lewis says the ethanol plants were very willing to participate in this experiment because of new incentives from the federal government. Low carbon fuel credits now come with the sale of decarbonized ethanol. So the ethanol plant gets paid uh, and is, in, is motivated to decarbonize its ethanol through means like carbon capture and sequestration to uh, generate revenue, which in turn helps pay for uh, the projects that we're developing. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for Next. Carbon America says its research shows that its injection sites will not cause the environmental issues or earthquakes that have been associated with methane extraction sites. Could be two years or more, though, until that project gets started.